All right, so I am starting my next big house reno project, and that's this room right here, which is our laundry room, or mud room, or breezeway, or whatever you wanna call it. So, some history about this room. Long before we bought this house, this wasn't enclosed. This was just open-ended. So that's the garage right here, and then the rest of the house is right here. And at some point, they enclosed it and made it into its own room, which is where the laundry is, and an electrical panel, and just, more space. There were cabinets in here when we first moved in. I tore those all out and I've done a little bit of work to this room, but this is going to be the big project. The first thing to do was clear it out. All the things had to go. So anything that we had in here had to go. All the stuff, any containers, dog food was in here. That has to go. Um, and then I also have to get rid of the washer dryer. So because this used to be an exterior room, there's some interesting things about it. So the the wall here, this whole wall is, it's got drywall in it, but right behind it is stucco. And the same over here, where it's drywall, but literally right behind it is an entire layer of stucco. So that makes it a little more challenging. I wanna do some rewiring, but it's gonna be a little tricky because I not only have to dive into the, the drywall, but I also have to dive into the stucco a little bit. Just like our kitchen, I'm gonna be using IKEA cabinets. So I use their website. I made a plan, I have everything kind of laid out. There's still some potential for changes, but for the most part, I know what I wanna do, which is gonna help me with the all the work that's gonna happen up till that point. So I made a plan, I have a list of all the things that I wanna do in this room, and it's kind of insane, but here I'm gonna just kinda of talk you through it, so that way you have a heads up of what is gonna happen in here, because it's gonna get kinda of crazy. It's not a massive room. It's about nine feet by 19 feet. So it's kind of, it's only like 100 and, what's that, 165 square feet or so, 180 feet. So it, it's not a massive room. So none of the things are, I'm gonna be doing are, in, are on a large scale, but there's all the things incorporated into it. So first thing I had to clear out the room, that's all done. I have to demo all this tile on the floor. I'm gonna pour a new step over here. So when I remodeled the kitchen, I moved the door because the old doorway was kind of, not kind of, it was in the way of where part of our cabinets were gonna be, so I needed to move the door. So there used to be a step where the old door lived, and now with the new location of the door, there is no step. I'm gonna replace doors and windows on both sides. So behind me, there's a door, and that's to the front of the house, and there's also a window, and then there's another window up top. So all that's gonna go, hopefully, and I'm gonna put one single large window in the front with no door. So on this other side, there's a set of French doors, and I'm gonna take that out and replace those two skinny doors, and I'm also gonna add a doggy door, so that way the dogs can come in and out, because right now there's no way for the dogs to come in and out on their own. They can only go in and out when we open the door for them. I'm also gonna add a vent to this room. So originally, there was an AC vent that punched into here and allowed this room to get HVAC. However, when I redid the door and all that, and the step, that all went away. So my plan is to re-add that, so that way this room can be included with the house system as well. Let's see, I'm gonna do some electrical work, redo some of the water lines, because the washer dryer and the sink are gonna kinda of flip flop around. Make sure that this whole room is insulated really well. Drywall work, to obviously have to do drywall work to cover up what's behind me and on this other side. We'll do any painting, we'll probably change the colors of the paint in this room. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully not. Gotta do new tile on the ground here and grout it. I've done wall tile work, like backsplash stuff, but never on the floor, so this would be kinda interesting. I'm also gonna tile the new step. Then I have to get those cabinets, put them all together, and install them, and do a countertop for the countertop area that's gonna go on. Put the laundry rack in. <laughs> like, as you can see, there's just like a lot of little things, and they all take time, and they all take process. Today is, what's today's August 24th? My plan is to have this done by the time the baby comes, which is October 14th, as of now. Obviously that can change. But that gives me about seven weeks to get this done. And hopefully I'll get it done earlier in less than that. So I really have to go to town and get going. Oh, I'm also doing lighting and, oh man, there's, there's a lot of things that are happening in here. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of crazy. I'm gonna cover a lot of different aspects of it and it's gonna completely change this room. It was never really a finished room. It was always kind of something that we set aside, set aside, and never actually like buckled down and really made this room what we want it to be. This is our chance to really make it super functional and 
really work with us instead of being this kind of crutch in the way. Oh, oh, uh, one more thing. Um, so over here, in this kind of corner, I'm gonna add um, lockers. So they'll be like kind of different cubbies and hooks and places to put shoes, because right now they just kind of all get piled up under the step and then I'm always tripping on them as I'm coming out. So that won't happen in this first phase. That'll happen kind of down the road because that doesn't need to happen by October 14th. It's just something that um, we definitely want to do in the future. So yeah, our goal with this room is to make it super functional, have countertop space to work here and fold clothes and whatnot, and then just a ton of extra storage because one of the things about our kitchen is that there's no pantry. So we have just kind of limited space to store food and everything kind of gets crunched together and pots and pans will get crunched together and um, we, we love the kitchen. It still works super great for us, but we just need a little bit more storage. So that's what this room is going to provide. Lots of things are going to happen in this room and I'm excited. It's going to be a, it's going to be a process for sure. But in the end, I think it's going to be really cool. So, all right, that's it for now. See ya. He's a render. He's a render.